welcome back to our newest episode of uh, Spitball and Sports. I'm John. There's Scott. What's up, Scott? How's it going? Where? Of course, I thought I took it off. <laughs> What's oh, going on? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. It's six o'clock. If you guys are, whoever's, whenever you're watching this, it's six o'clock on Friday for us here in the Eastern time zone. It's weird because the sun's still out. Oh, it's beautiful out, man. Yeah, isn't it nice? Finally. Finally. Tomorrow, tomorrow oh. we go back to garbage. I know. It's supposed to be what, like 60 mile an hour winds or some yeah. shit? What is going on with all the wind all the time now? Have you, sure. have you noticed a lot of, yes. everything's coming with 40 and 50 mile an hour winds all the time? Yeah, but I all the time, all the time here. We're we're more windy than we are snowy. I feel. Yeah, like. yeah, I'd agree. Absolutely. You know, way more windy. I hate the wind. I fucking can't stand it. And tomorrow's oh, supposed to be, too. like, you know, that's yeah, supposed to be ice. decent out, right? Fifties. No, I heard ice in the morning. What? Yeah, I heard overnight. I got, okay. I don't know what I'm watching for the forecast then. <laughs> I don't think it's because be first good. off, I said to Alexa this morning, mm. and that is not. I'm not trying to give them props at all on this podcast. Just so we're aware. That's why I didn't say the company name. But anyway, uh, I said, uh, what's the forecast? And it brought it up. And it told me today it was going to be 31. At 2 o'clock, it was going to be 32. Oh, geez. It, yeah. Okay. 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 That's up. So yeah, that was way off. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, what is going on? I, I didn't watch the regular news, but. Right. Um, but I, um, I don't know. Anyways. So what is it supposed to snow? No, I, I was listening to the the weather, and they said tomorrow is going to be you know, very windy, very rainy. But overnight, it's going to be below freezing, so you could have some... some oh, okay, uh, okay. So you probably you know, some black ice or something. Probably. Yeah, that type okay. of stuff. Nothing okay. crazy, but that. Um, hey, you know what's, what happened in the world of sports that I thought was really incredible, because it hasn't happened in a long time? Um, here, you can unmute yourself, too. I want to show you Connor McDavid. He got his 60th goal. Um, he got his 60th goal in how many games? That's in 72 games. That's the fastest in the modern since the salary since the salary. John, John how old is he? He's got. I'm going to guess now because I don't know, but I'm going to guess 27. Maybe? How many years does you think he's 26? got to go in the league? Like how long? Because hockey players, I know, seem to stick around longer as long as they're. He hasn't really been hit with an injury bug or anything, correct? He had some injuries, but nothing mean. No nagging? No, no nothing repeat. nagging. No, I could, he'd play another 10 years, probably. Really? He could. Think about that, dude. Because look at Ovechkin, you know. Is he a complainer at all? Or no. does he just no. puts his head down, goes in? I was honestly, so last night yeah. when I was hearing about his goal and, you know, and they were talking about it and stuff on something, I started to think about it, and I'm like, man, it's got to be, it's got to be really hard. Oh, that's what it was. I heard a sports cast talk about how him and Dry Seidel got together and they hammered out, and then all of a sudden down the stretch, they they kind of the, you know the goaltending was pretty much non-existent, right? And yada yada. And I'm thinking to myself, it's got to be pretty damn hard for a guy that caliber to get up for anything when you know you're probably going to lose. Like if you got a three goal night, and <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know you got a hat trick, and it's more common for this guy, but. At what point does that shit start to wear on you? That's what I, I've, I've always wondered. Now, Jordan is a guy that has that can, yeah. he, can, he can get in his own head and get himself, you know, yeah. agitated or whatever. So I'm sure that he might be, that this guy might have that same quality to him. I don't know, but it's got to be difficult, man. Like, why don't they address that for them? Like, well, is he willing to, can they do the pay cut shit? Like, does he, is he offered to do that or anything? You can't do that in the NHL. But what, you can't start, offer to take a pay cut on your contract and redo your contract. Why? Not that I've ever, Robin, do you remember that? No, no I do not believe we so can. Con, do so hockey players don't redo their contracts. No, no, no. Cause the CBA. It doesn't let it, them. Yeah, no, they don't redo anything. Cause that's the cap is solid. You know what I mean? So you can't. So once you sign that contract with that team and the season's over and I go, you know what? Next year. Okay. Right. So you can't do it. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah. No wonder the teams are like, end up like they are. Right, because if you draft a good team, th that's what I don't like. If you, it, the that's Leafs are a good that's example, shitty. they need to come up. They need to. Yeah, and so's Edmonton's a good example. You, it's not. I mean, the Leafs drafted well, but then because they drafted so well, they're kind of because no, you know, these guys got to get paid after their rookie contract, and it's going to be big. So they still. So 
I mean, the NFL has come so yeah, far as not, far as making yeah. parody happen, which I, I am so glad because it really sucked to constantly watch the same teams win every single yeah. year, you know? So does hockey need more of that? And that's what hockey did in 05. They had a lockout. They didn't play the whole year because there was no salary cap before. So teams like Toronto, New York's, and all that would just – you could buy whatever you wanted. There was no cap. There was nothing. So they it went from nothing to – that's it. Like a cap, like you wouldn't believe hard cap, 82 million. That's it. Like you, the only way you can go over is if someone's on long-term IR, then you can go over the cap. But other than that, you can't. And then there's different. And you're only allotted things. for how long are you allowed to do that for? The long-term IR? Yeah, well, yeah. some teams, the Sabres, for example, are one team that was very, and they still kind of are doing it. Um, they would trade for guys that were hurt just so they could put them on long-term IR so that would help them get to the cap. Like that would actually help them because you had to be at you. There's a cap like uh ceiling of 82 mm-hmm. and then there's a cap um, basement of uh 60. And so you got a like, minimum of 60 million and teams like Buffalo sometimes, maybe Arizona, they'll trade for someone. I, I think Arizona is still paying, uh, paying Chris Pronger. Oh, and, I think you told me about this. Yeah, just so they can get to sixty million. Right. And not have it's to the most ridiculous yeah. shit I've ever heard, dude. Mm-hmm. No, it's messed up. It's messed like, up. why is that even a thing? I know. Not like, who true. negotiated that? That the the owners did. The own, yeah, it was all owners. The players kind of were shot. I mean, they didn't. They, so, do the owners in hockey? And pardon me if this is this. We should just call this school me because I don't know hardly anything about hockey. That's why I ask all these questions. So I apologize to our audience if they get annoyed, but I'm trying to understand it better. Um, you know, I just lost my point. Ah, Sorry, I just lost my point. Okay, I had another another question about what you were saying. I don't remember. Edmonton tried to address it by they Jack Campbell was the Leafs goalie last year, had a decent year, decent playoff. They signed, he was a free agent. Edmonton brought him in at 5 million a year for the next five years. And he's been absolutely horrible. See, that sucks. Cause then the teams can just, the owners can just constantly use the, what use the team as a write-off and just the team just shits the bed every single year. I mean, that's what you think about. That's how I think sometimes. Who's that like Winnipeg jets and shit like people like that. They're fine. No, all the Canadian teams are good. Okay, they, so who is it? I just don't ever hear about Arizona. them. That's why I... The Arizona Coyotes are playing in a – think about this. They're playing in a state, a, an arena that only seats 5,000 people. So that's insane, and that's because – That's like that's like college hockey. They are. They're playing where Arizona State University until – because Phoenix So why don't the players take a stand against that owner? Can't they <laughs> refuse to play? Or yeah. did, are the, is the NHL just – they're not about – the players just aren't like that or what? Well, I mean, we had, they had, it kind of happened in that lockout of 05. It really did. It kind of, it, that was a, and the players real, I don't, it, it just took a very bad turn when the players realized, I guess, that they just didn't have, they didn't have any leverage at all. There just was no leverage. There was nothing. I, they gave it all away. I mean, it just, like I said, it just, they, I don't even know how to explain it. They just rolled so over. So they'll never be able to, do, they're never going to be able to have this again because they're going to end up in the same position. They've already, They've already laid down their sword and, and quit. So the owners know that they will. Yeah, it, it, I agree with that. They probably that sucks. The, the sick thing is, though, I think they would have locked up. They, I think what the problem was with hockey, being that it's so much different than the NFL, NBA, and even Major League Baseball, out of sight, out of mind in the United States for hockey, the mm-hmm. NHL. And I think, I think that I think that was that's what's messed up. I think the players were more worried about that than the owners were. Because it seemed like that was like the big reason why they wanted to come back, because basically, the United parts of the United States just don't care if they're not there or True. whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. see, see I remember. I know um, I'm starting to remember when that was good because I would listen well, I mean, to it, obviously in sports radio would talk about it every day. Honestly, I think the players probably what they did probably they kind of saved the the game was ready to die. Because at the point where you're going to miss a full oh, that's year, when, like, nobody was really watching. Not nobody, yeah. but but a lot of people really were. Oh, I remember that because the Sabres, I think, were, weren't they absolutely terrible? Even though they were terrible a long time. When they came back from the lockout, they were great. The Sabres were the best. And team when they, they got Briere and those guys? They had uh, – I'm just thinking the, of the era that you're talking about. Yeah, that would have been the, the round. No, no, no. Would it have been around the time? Any, but it, the, the good thing for them is when they come back, that would have been the Ryan Miller time. 
frame. Oh, okay. Oh, when he joined the team. But and, well, then they, because of the salary cap going like it did, so st- you know, stringent, the Sabers then all of a sudden were in good shape because now they got all these young players that are not oh, paying yeah, right, right. And Makes and sense. they almost went to the cup that year. They lost to uh, Ottawa in the I think in the conference final maybe. And um, but then ever since now, I mean, the cap's been going up steadily. It COVID kind of hurt it, but I think. Not this year, but the year after, it's going to jump pretty big because they did get any. They're on ESPN now. That was a big deal for NHL to get back on ESPN. So they're back on ESPN. They're on TNT. They're kind of all around. But have you heard you know, anything about their numbers, the ratings? Are they doing good? And you know, some I haven't heard much. It doesn't doesn't sound that because if the, if the stations aren't pushing it, it's not gonna it's not gonna build. ESPN does push though. I see them pushing. I, there's so much on ESPN Plus. That's I've seen a lot on ESPN actually. Yeah, myself. ESPN Plus is like where all the hockey seems to be. Um, but I don't know. It's it's playoff hockey seems to get good ratings, but um, it, it's again, it's such a to me, it's such a cult following. It's Buffalo, it's Detroit, it's all the border towns. Yeah, maybe hockey a cities. few. You know, and also though, if you win, they'll come. If in Arizona they started winning games and going to the playoffs, they would have a. Weren't they good at one point? Were they any, any ever any good? No, they made the playoffs. They, did they even sniff? Also, oh, they did at least made the playoffs. They made the playoffs once or twice, but God, never. it would suck. How, I, I, how do they even have fans showing up? I know it's terrible. It's ridiculous. Really? Then, you know what I mean? Now this year, McDavid has hit sixty. He did it in seventy-two games. He's got ten games left. He very well could get to seventy if he hits wow. 70, 70 goals. That will be the first time I just I looked it up since 1992. McGilney and Solani both scored 76 in that year, and um, so that would be the first time someone hit 70 since then. Wow! The, I want to Solani. I remember him. I want to ask both of you guys this, Rob, and you two answer this question. In the NHL now, compared to 1992 and 93, overtime in the NHL now is three on three. Those goals count. Back then, there was none of that. If you if there was overtime, it was five on five. It was regular hockey. This three on three stuff to me is like a cir- is a circus. It's almost like I've said it before. It'd be like if you oh we're, we got NFL overtime in the regular season, let's play seven on seven. You know, it's, you just it right, blows right. your mind. Should those goals? I mean, is it tainted? Like that? You know what I'm saying? Like it this, is. Do you feel that? Like maybe because I mean, it's the rules of the game. Every goal don't. that's scored in that counts. Yeah, they count. I think whoever wins it should just get awarded the one goal. That's, right, yeah. that's it. You shouldn't it be able to stack like three points. I mean, that's ridiculous. Why wouldn't you play for overtime if you know your guys are good? I agree with that. I, uh, at that. The early, I mean, if you work that into your season long yeah. approach, not full force the beginning, but you slowly follow it. I mean, shit, you're not, that's not a stupid thing to do. <laughs> it's not, it's not. I, if you got a Connor the, McGregor, why wouldn't you welcome that shit? Well, think about, well, think about Gretzky. They didn't I even have Connor overtime. Mc, I yeah, Connor, McGregor. McGregor. Yeah. Connor McDavid. Jesus Christ. But think about Gretzky. They didn't even have overtime back then. After 60 minutes, it was a tie. If it ended He's a tie, a it was a tie. straight baller, man. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I guess you've got to always – I we'll get off of this tough topic, but I guess this goes to every sport. You always got to, like, put it in like, just, maybe yeah, in the time. You, yeah, because it's hard. Get yeah, right you now, can't. That's why when people go, oh, Kobe's better than Jordan. Yeah. You know, Different no. eras. Can't compare it. Sorry. Era, because, era, era. He's the greatest of his era. Yeah, There's right no now, greatest of all time. It's not It's not a thing. Yeah, Sorry. Right now, Mc, Mc, McDavid has 138 points, right? 60 goals. Mm-hmm. His close, now unbelievably, Dreisaitl, who's the second line center on that team, is second in points. Yeah. Um, How, how think, are you not? I know. In first place in your division. They're going to make the playoffs. I mean, how do you but, not in the offseason address it and find a great goalie? Like, isn't there players that go, man, I want to go play there? I mean, would, is Edmonton, is is it something about the team? And we can get off the subject in a minute, but I, I'm just no. need this because I'm curious. No, it's I always okay. thought they were popular from back when no, it's, and Gretzky it's, was there. It's certainly, I mean, you know, it's like – in, it's like Midwest United States, but that's still a thing. People like, to, well, look at the players that have gone there. Zach Hyman's got 40 goals. I mean, they got it. They, that's a uh, Vander Kane went there. How's their following? Do they have a good following? Their fan base? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they oh, show my God, up? yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just that curious. The okay. goaltending is an issue. 
and they thought they addressed it. I kind of feel bad for him because Jack Campbell just, just, yeah, he completely. Sh- I mean, he just killed. I can't even believe it because he was on the Leafs. He was good. Right. He went there and he. Oh, so they him. thought they addressed their problem yeah. and they were ready to go. They gave him five years, and for the and for hockey, when you when you get a goalie and you give him five years at five million a year, that's a big deal. And he's they he lost his job to uh, whatever his name is Skinner. Yeah. And uh, his last name Skinner, right? Skinner. Yeah. And um, he's playing okay. I mean, Edmonton's going to be a problem in the playoffs. They really are. They're going to be an issue. There, I don't know. You just got to keep up. It's 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 like Brady, right? No. In football, it used to be like Brady, where you have to you, as long as long as you can keep up with him, you got there, a chance to beat him. There is no one in the four major sports that can that can dominate a game like McDavid. I've never seen anyone. I'm going to have to start before. watching him. I'm going to have he's, to start watching some of these fa- games. You can tell he's faster than everyone. Now, now last week, last year, um, with the sixty goals. Matthews scored 60 goals in 73 games. So then now what you call eclipsed it with his, he did it in 72. Before that, it was Ovechkin and Stamkos did it in 2011 within a full season. But like this guy is just fast. Will you want, you, just watch even the highlights. He just, here, check that. I'm going to bring this back up. Watch him miss the first shot and slam his stick and come back and score. Here, check this out. Here he goes. I mean, he's, he's here's a breakaway. He misses. Now he's going to get the puck again, and and here he goes again. And now, there's no one in the picture, and he scores. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, now where's, all, where's everybody at? Where's the guys that we're supposed to be keeping an eye on? The, I don't know the best guy on the goddamn team. That's three on three. <laughs> that's three on three hockey. Well, that was three on three. That I was the overtime. And, oh, which I hate. That's what I'm saying. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to go towards overtime if you got a goalie issue? The only time you wouldn't would be a team you're playing in your division. You wouldn't want to give them a point. But right, other than right. that, why but not? You see what I'm saying? Why not? I mean, it, it, you've got every reason to do it. They, should, they need to be. They need me to go have a conversation with the coach. They got to fix the, the league. The league's got to be <laughs> fixed. I, I love the NHL, but they got to fix it. It's just and now I'm glad though the playoffs are real hockey. Yeah, because the overtime is five on five. Everything is normal. And they that's what play. I normally watch when I watch hockey. Yeah. Unless yeah. the Sabres are doing really good, which would then I would obviously like any other local yokel jump on the wagon and start right. watching it. But if the Sabres get in the playoffs, I'll watch it. Yeah, that was right. the extent of mine. I usually will watch a couple of the Stanley Cups, a couple of games in the series. I do don't completely stay away from it. I watch it, but I, I generally I might know one or two guys in it. Yeah, playoff hockey, but playoff Pretty hockey's different. different. It's fun yeah, to watch. Way different. Um, yeah, and the Leafs get ready to play Tampa again, but I'm not even going to get. We'll talk about that another. <laughs> You haven't mentioned it yet. No, we will. Scott, did you? Uh, how's the NCA? How's March Madness going for you? Not good, John. Yeah, I got a couple, but I just, you know what? I, I there's people I've paid attention to that give their information, and <laughs> when you give a bet out, and both dudes are picking completely opposite teams, sometimes yeah. I'm like, man, I, I don't know anything to even base a guess on with it, so I just stayed away from the rest. Well, to let everyone know, because remember, it's Friday. We're on a we're on Friday, so tonight, I think it's six thirty here shortly. San Diego State plays Alabama. Number five, Miami plays Houston tonight. Princeton and Creighton, number fifteen, Princeton against number six, Creighton. Xavier and te- and Texas at nine forty five. Yesterday, some great games though, right? Did you see that? I don't know if Dude. you guys paid attention to that Michigan State Kansas State game. Yeah. That kid, no. I heard it was like the best game. I saw that play. That was yeah. that. He said it wasn't a. It wasn't. He was actually arguing with the coach or whatever. He yeah. said it wasn't like the bullshit. I I think it's bullshit because that was just. It looked too fucking scripted to not be scripted. I'm sorry, man, but it was awesome. Yeah, that was I almost. You know what it reminded me of? I believe it was against the Bills. Marino, the first, I think one of the first times he ever did it. Fake spike, oh, touchdown. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. that's what it reminded me of. Yeah, yeah. So Noel, I'll, I'll, he he bring they win 98-93. Another good game, if you got to watch it, was Gonzaga yes. UCLA. I didn't watch it, but game. I saw some of it this morning. That was a great game. My God, UCLA came all the way back. Dude, he then shot from the ass. Wow. What's His foot was on the ass when he yeah. shot that three point. He shot the ball. Yeah. That was very impressive. And then he got the steal and went down and got the layup. That was impressive, dude. Yeah. And then impressive. there's Tim A. Tim A is unbelievable. He's a beast. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he plays in the NBA. I'll be curious. I don't know um, if he if it translates or if he gets a shot. It'll be interesting. Um, but boy, has he dominated college. Yeah, yeah. Tim A. Tim A. is something else, man. Who? 
Tim, Tim A. A. Who's Tim yeah, A? Tim he's A. A. Drew Tim A. He's from oh, Gonzaga. Oh, I, 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 I thought you were doing Tim A. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what they do because his last name is T-I-M-M-E and he's Tim, oh, okay. Tim A. But he's, he's good. But I don't know how it translates to the Holy NBA, shit. like I was saying to Robin, but he dominates, man. Yeah. He's, uh, it's weird how he is, though. I don't, he's not really that athletic. I don't. But he is that the guy? Is that the dude I've heard about? Now I'm just guessing here. Is that that seven foot something guy? He's probably no. I think he's about six ten. He's, he's oh, tall okay. though. Yeah. He's probably six eight, six nine. He's a tall guy. He always he's kind of a character. He always has the mustache all wacky. He does when he scores. Oh, really? He used to do this crazy. He looks like he's about. Oh four. wait a minute, that's mustache from last year. Yes. Him. Oh okay, Tim I know who you're talking about. Yep. He's Tim got that. Yeah. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a character, all right. Yeah. What's that, Robin? Just real quick, I know we're we're talking NCAA, but I I just want to go on a different tangent because sure. it came up in my head. Um, NBA wise, LeBron, from what I heard, is supposed to be back the last week of the season. Right. And KD makes his home return next Wednesday. Wednesday, right. Um, who do you guys think is going to be a bigger difference maker for their team? Like, who do you, which team do you think is going to get a bigger bump out of the, them coming back? For me, it's got to be. Durant just because that Suns team is better. Yeah. Like that other team. The Lakers really aren't. I mean, I like that kid. What the hell's his name? He's driving me nuts to you know what I'm talking about. Oh I, yeah. He was just at one of the best bets today. What the hell's his name from the Lakers? Oh. Oh what? yeah, I like kid, right? Yeah, I can't remember his name. Damn it. I was just I, anyways. I, yeah, I I, I, I I took it. I me took too. It, ran with it. Yeah. What's I got it a name? point extra, but it's all right. over the place. I Shit. can see him. I know I can too. No, so, I'm not. So good it's with it. it's flipping my head. All right, hey. Look them up, please. I'm logging in. Hold on. Yeah, we can, Robin, we can talk and I'll tell you. Yeah, so I mean, I think I think the Phoenix Suns will be the. I just think they're a better. Way I agree better as well. All around. Um, I agree with you on that. I do like this just kid because of who he is and what he brings. Oh, Austin Reeves. Austin, Austin Reeves. Reeves. The story of Austin Reeves, by the way, you guys got to listen. See how he made it to the NBA is incredible. He comes from a town of a hundred of 1,100 people. And Come on, really? He happened to be playing. I don't know if he was in the G League. He played for, I think, the University of Oklahoma. One of them. He doesn't really do not much. He doesn't get. I don't think he gets drafted. And then he ends up playing. They were talking about it, and I was. It was in and out. I got to read more about it. But it was on TV. They were talking. He ends up playing in a Lakers like. I guess they were like you know a tryout type deal, and he ends up playing against Anthony Davis. Like guarding him and Davis said, like, I can't, you know, Davis is seven feet tall. This guy's like six, three, I don't know, six, four. And I don't know, right there. They loved him. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, else, anywhere, anyways, there he is. Wow. Now he's a. Yeah, cause Anthony Davis. I saw him. He was, yeah, they called him white Kobe. Yeah. He's a star. He's a star now. He looks That's good. good for him, dude. That's yeah. awesome. I love hearing wild, wild stuff like that. That's 11? super cool. Think about that. He went from a, Probably 11, a movie made about him. 1100 people in his town. You know, he's that's in LA. Unreal. I mean, it's nuts. Do you think yeah. if Durant is enough to put the Suns over the line and finally get Chris Paul a championship? Close. Yeah. yeah. He needs KD. Can. Man. Yeah, he can. Um, it's just a he's matter great. of is he going to be okay? Is he, he ready? Be close. When he's healthy, he dominates. I mean, talk about a player that dominates. Yeah, I, 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 he's not a, he's yeah. Is he still he's out? Good, but man, mm -hmm. he, he comes back from when ankle from when warm ups. Yes, he comes back Wednesday. Jesus, are you serious? Yeah. But, I, you know, McDavid, though, I don't know if anyone's ever done. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone play like this. Yeah. Where you can, with McDavid, I mean, he can do circles around and everybody. I've never seen that in any sport. Yeah, even, I'm even crazy. thinking back to Jordan. Even Jordan, I mean, he was right. he was able to be guarded properly, at least. He just made shots. I mean, he right. was, you know, what he did. I don't know. He's a problem. Wait till you watch him, Scott. I'm going to. I want to. I will. I will. Because Playoffs you just sure. can tell. I'll, I'll like, watch oh, him this in the fucking pro He might score five. Tonight. When they played the Leafs that night, I swear to God, I thought he was. I thought he was going to break Daryl Sittler's record. Yeah. I which know. is ten points in a game. No one's ever. That's he had four. What do you have? Six goals and four assists. I swear to God, I thought he was going to have four before the period was over. Yeah. He. There was something about Austin Matthews that because Matthews had sixty last year. And I don't know. It did something. Well, it did something to to McDavid. You know what so. happened, and from what I heard, is people were starting to say, you know, have the one A, one B conversation about yeah. McDavid and Matthews, 
And from what I've heard from different hockey people, McDavid didn't like it. Well, Dreisaitl was the big key. Yeah. Making and him he realize. Told him, yeah. That you don't have to tough. keep setting me up. You yeah. Know, setting me up like you do. He's a great player, McDavid. I and you know what you, you know what I like about him, I guess, is the attitude. Yeah. He didn't even care that he scored sixty, really. Right. He didn't even want the puck. Right. Um, it didn't even matter. That that does not matter to him. So you gotta I'm like sorry, that. man. I'm oh, okay. I apologize. Because if no, I sure. don't, she's gonna bark so much. Yeah, and my no wife because what we're gonna here. do now is we're gonna hit a let's take our commercial because when we come back, we got some football to talk about. Yes. A lot of football to talk about. Yeah. So why don't we take this quick break? Be back with some Really cool rumors and stuff that's happening all the time. Be right Digits back. 988 can save a life. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. <laughs> question from the message board for you scott okay um the question is this first off we might have let's we'll do we're gonna do it in sections isaiah it's about the buffalo bills i mckenzie is gone isaiah mckenzie what did, did did he ends up with the colts or something i think what do you think of him leaving i'm glad that the experiment with him i mean he was a good gimmick i thought he i, I thought he was going to be better because he had that game against new england where he was kind of the primary slot receiver, and he was he lit it up, man. He had a great game. And I don't know, he never seemed uh, – they were trying to make him the answer for Tyree Killing. He definitely was not bad. Um, I mean, he was really fast, but I think, I, think, I think his size is what hurt him. I think he's more of a special teams type guy. I don't, I don't think he's really big enough or – I don't think he's got really good enough hands to be a slot receiver anymore. But I'm, I'm glad they let him go because the guy they picked up is definitely better than – then we're going to get better play out of him. So that's, I mean, I like Isaiah McKenzie as a player. He's a great personality around here, but I'm glad the gimmick was, was old, got old and they let him go. The next thing is about, and this, I think we talked a little of this, but I, I, I'll let you single Terry. Did it, where did he end up going? Houston? Where the hell did he end up? Did he, did he wind up? Has he even, has he signed? Maybe he I did. He did. So no, I, I believe he did. I'm trying to remember. I don't I, know if he, but did. either way, either way. Okay. You, thoughts on his leaving and um oh he's a houston texan now he is yeah houston texas he? okay that's what i thought um they needed what, to move on yeah yeah he yeah, was they got cook 
if you notice, usually guys like Singletary end up getting released and not picked up. He, but right. I think he did enough for himself last year. He's just not that guy, right? right? He's he's not a real elusive. He was getting it last year, but you're not usually going to get a big game out of him. He gets right. some twenty yard bursts here and there. The guy they picked up, if healthy, way better. He's just harder. He's a the dude yeah. had what? Well, I think it was like nineteen touchdowns, right? A couple years ago, like not last year, year before. He's a good player. If he can stay healthy, Damian Harris is definitely a big step up. I think Buffalo's running back room is set with Hines. Hines and Cook, I believe, are going to be those guys. I think Hines primarily going to be used more as a pass catcher, even though James Cook can do that. But I, I think he's going to see the bulk of the carries, James Cook, which I love and I cannot wait to see what the offense Hold is going to be. Hold on one second. Like. Hold on one yeah. second. Stop replying to this. On the message board right now, mm -hmm. there is someone uh, – I don't even know if you'd know him. Shortly we will. Okay. I don't know if you'd know this guy. Can you see the message board? No, I don't see anything. Okay. Um, his last name is Wines. Don't know anybody by you that. Don't know anyone? No, no. Maybe that's why he's whining on the message board. Yeah, this guy here keeps on. He was on the message board of the other show talking stupid. Now he's here talking stupid. Okay. And he, he's a, he was a local guy. I don't know if he is anymore or not. But um, he's talking nonsense, so I'm going to end up having to block him. But, you know, before I do that, I'd like to say if you've got a problem, and it seems like you do, my phone number is right there. In the, right when you, and, and, and all of these things, give me a call. Please give me a call. Because I've kind of had it. I'm just block him, John. Just get over I did. I blocked him. Why? What but, was he saying? Like, oh, he's talking about old podcasts and he's saying shit about like oh, this doesn't have nothing even do. Dude, it's There's Friday. Go get huh? a fish fry, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, what do you what do you want me to tell you? I'll All tell right. you this though. This isn't for it. This is a sports show. We're just shooting the shit. Huh? Did you do it? Yeah, I did it. I did it right here. I can block and do whatever I gotta do here. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna let the pop out. One second. Yeah, no problem. This guy. Yeah. He was on Citizens United doing was stupid he? stuff the other day. Yeah. I had to block him there. Wow. So now I got to block him again. Thank he's a local you know what? He's a local guy though. Yeah. So that's one good thing that he's a local guy. Thank you for the views. Yeah. He's a local and guy. And for caring so much about our podcast like like you said give a call. Yeah. Well, I I'm, I'm going to give a call after the show cuz I know exactly who I'm giving a call to. And then when after I make that call, there'll be another call. This is going to be fun now. I'm glad that this <laughs> cocksucker is on this message board right now. I really do. Because you know what? This fucking guy, I don't know who the fuck he, honestly, I don't know who the fuck he thinks he is and why he's been fucking around. Because when I tell you after the show who the fuck he is. Oh, boy. Yeah. I can't wait to find All him. right, now I'm pissed. All right, that's perfect. This is good for, this is good. Sucker, why? Get the fuck off of here. Yeah. What the fuck? Obviously, you, there's a, you know who this is. Do I know who oh, this is? I know is? who it is. I think you, you know what? Yeah, I, I actually can't wait. Back to football, son of a bitch. Okay. I'm fucking furious right now. You could tell. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll move on and I'll say this. Yeah, go ahead. I think Buffalo, Buffalo definitely, it wasn't big splash moves. They definitely added. They definitely added to better than what they lost. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't dynamic or anything like that, but they got better. With the than the guys that they let go, and they're going to get some so. conditional picks with some guys, so I'm good with that because all of them signed. So and the last will fall. I mean, we've all heard about it. I'll just say it right now, DeAndre Hopkins. Right. If that becomes a thing, which Could the be. only reason I'm believing it has got a very good chance of happening is what Pac-Man Jones said on the, the McAfee podcast because he's friends with Hopkins. He got him to come on the podcast because he doesn't do any interviews at all. Right. And he said it's he said it's Atlanta, the Ravens, New England. The Raiders. Uh, no, not New, not New England. I'm sorry. Uh, the Bills. Raiders, Patriots. And Raiders. Right, Raiders, Patriots. Patriots yep. are already out. And because right, I heard that. that earlier, but he said, from what my sources are telling me, you know, the bills are right up there. Yeah. So hopefully 
I really hope the co- I think it's probably the compensation Arizona wants for him. You're not going to dump a contract on somebody and expect them to gift you with a kiss. You understand right. what I'm saying? Well, so he's probably going to end up getting dealt for like a fourth. A fourth. I could t- I could deal a fourth for that. Go ahead. Scott, you've been watching Pat McAfee for a long time, right? Yeah. Why in the world do they call Davis Mills Dougie? They just have always done that. I think right. he did the I, I, they just they do that. <laughs> they, they do it on purpose. It. <laughs> Everything is done on purpose. The stuff they say when they act stupid, they know exactly what they're doing. But yeah, I don't know. For whatever reason, they when they interviewed him one time and they called him that. Hey man, we call really? you Dougie. Is it all right if I call you Dougie? You know, like I don't care. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh Oh, yeah, Ed Oliver's been talked about, too. Yeah, Ed Oliver's another. It's interesting about Ed Oliver. Would they, do they, would they benefit with him? They're going to have to, they're going to have to sign him to a new contract. He's only got one year left. Right. And Boogie Basham posted something about obstacles in his way. So I'm wondering, yeah. is it a package deal? Interesting. It's interesting. Very yeah, he goes to, he goes, yeah, I mean, because. Hopkins isn't worth a first or a second. No, no way. He's too old. He's 30. Yes. Yeah, so, and he's hurt. But he's he hurt. so fucking He's still good, good when he's not hurt. When he's healthy, John, he's incredible. John, I yeah, know we no say stupid shit. I know we say stupid shit like this all the time, but how in the world do you stop Hopkins and Diggs with Josh Allen? How you the would, fuck do you stop that? You would figure that's going to be a problem. Because <laughs> Hopkins problem. makes the catches that just throw it to me, dude. He's I mean, that's good. what Arizona, they said that's kind of what Arizona's thing was, was yeah. Hopkins run and 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 he'll find you and just catch it right. with, with Kyler. So yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping, I don't know, he posted that cryptic shit on Instagram the other night with the Buffalo Soldier shit playing. And, right. I hope Ed Oliver, it, I can't believe this is going to be that big of a deal, though. That you Ed saw Oliver, his post, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I, I hate think, it when they do that. I know. it's. I, dude. Yeah. Did you see his little video thing he posted? No. no Dude, he had three sacks last year. He acted like like it was a thing. Right. I'm like, "Dude, you're you you're all mouth. Good player, but you didn't didn't I mean, decent player, you're just not a star player. You're not a you're not a yeah. disruptor, I guess you would say. You're not you know someone they got to worry about. I think a fourth is going to be enough to get him and maybe something maybe down the road, maybe you give him a, you know, later on. Like yeah. I'm talking like fourth, two, you're not going to get a third or a second for him. You, it's not going to happen. It. Not anymore. Those days are done for him because he can't. He just you just don't know what you're going to get. I feel him. bad because you know what, dude. Hopkins has just been a victim of being on shitty teams. Other than when he had Deshaun Watson, he hasn't really had a good did. quarterback ever since that. Ever since he left. No, and the good thing for him would be if he comes here, he can just he doesn't have to carry the load. That would be. Could good. you imagine? So no, I, I you it wouldn't imagine that, John. If if no. The offense would be. It how would do you be stop that? Difficult to. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how with those two because they're two number ones. When the guy. I hope there. you can count. Hopefully you keep it. But you know, I'm sure Diggs is the only guy that worries me just because of his yapper. Probably draft day. We'll get this done. I'm. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm thinking. You know? I'm sure it's going to drag out. I think that's when Aaron Rodgers is going to go. Is draft day. I, I think his is going to be draft day too. I have a feeling. Yeah, I'm glad. That, I'm glad that's what Green Bay's doing. They it don't does. have to do it right now. Right. Wait till why? There's no rush. Yeah. Why bother? Did you? All it does is benefit them. <laughs> did you guys hear that OBJ might be going to the Jets? I they believe he is. Yeah. That's the word. Yep. I'm gonna tell you right now. How do they get all this goddamn money? <laughs> where, where does all this fucking money come from, man? Yeah. Seriously, dude. Come yeah. on. They don't pay a. <laughs> yeah. What have they been paying though? Who are they paying on that team? Think about it. All rookies and all. You know what I'm trying to say? Like all the impact players are young. Garrett Wilson, Brett Bre- Hall, uh, no quarterback. Uh, you know, no quarterback. The guys like Williams, they do got it, don't they? Yeah. These are I all guess they do have it, don't they? I just, yeah, I wasn't really. I, I knew that, but I. They got to get all their. Court, they got to soon. There's going to be contracts to pay, but Some I mean, of those dudes are going to be wanting money. You, you think Garrett Wilson's going to wait until his contract's up? Garner? You think Sauce is going to wait until yeah. his contract's up? You're lucky that dude ain't telling you we need to negotiate right now, right now buddy. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. If I was Sauce Gardner, I'll tell you what, I'd be seriously thinking about that. Sure. One more year and I'd be like, sorry, boys, this rookie shit ain't going to work. Yeah. No, I agree. Hey, did you see, Um, I, I want to bring this up before I forget. 
because we talk about him a lot because everyone does. You see the thing with Lamar Jackson and his a- this agent or something? No, where it, he, it, go ahead. That he's not an agent, right? The NFL said don't talk to him. Like basically, yeah. What was that all right? about? I don't know why they would do that. Lamar tweeted out, "This dude has never represented me." Yeah, I think I got. The, I think I got his tweet. Hold on. So I'm like, I was totally confused. Yeah, there you go. There's his tweet. And oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Ken. Francis is a Florida man who most recently was pitching a home fitness. <laughs> this is from, so I guess <laughs> they're claiming he's going around acting like Lamar's agent. I know who it is. Hmm. Guaranteed. Did you see Lamar's commercial? No, no, I didn't see it. Home fitness. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's the guy who runs. <laughs> it must be dude. Yeah. Stupidest shit I've ever seen. You have to see what it is. Oh, I didn't even ever seen this. Oh, wow. Dude, it looks like you're carrying a boom box, but it's the yeah. size of a PA speaker. And, what? and you just carry it with you. And you uh-huh. pop it down and you pull some things out. I, you, you, I don't know what they're charging for those things, but <laughs> I mean, Lamar, come on, buddy. But I, I was you su- do better than that. I was surprised that the NFL came. I mean, they're, I don't know. It was a, that was pretty strong word, wording yeah. about this guy, you know, to, to the teams and I and Lamar, I, I can't imagine he's lying there. I mean, I'm sure he's not lying. John, he he's got no him. agent. His agent is as well. His agent is his mother. How many dudes do you think are trying to get their? Right. She's gonna now, fall his, for somebody. No, his mother can't be a, a NFLPA certified agent. Well, you his mother's act, she's acting as his agent. Is she allowed? I wonder though. You know what she's I'm saying? Been acting like, as his agent all along. She did it from draft day. But my question to you guys, and maybe you don't know this because you're not the NFL, I know. But then what's wrong with why can't Ken Francis do that? The guy, you know what I mean? What I think if- he can, but Lamar Jackson, I believe he wants to be his own negotiator. Right. He doesn't right, want right. an agent because he got mad when people were suggesting that he needed one because he was ruining his chances right now because he doesn't have one. And everybody's like, dude, this would happen so much faster. Pac-Man Jones said it. Right. Dude, just get an agent. This will go so much faster if you do that. I know. Well, he hurt himself in the draft, right? I mean, look at how long he sat there right? in it's that true. room by himself because he refused yeah. to negotiate. Yeah, what is the problem? I don't get it. I'm putting my money on Lamar Jackson is not going to be the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens next season. Yeah, I don't know where he's. Where does he? Dude, go? I think they're. I think their Colts bridge is burned. I think it is too. Does he go to the I, Colts? I, I mean, I don't know. That would be. I guess Ursay with look. I guess Ursay. Did I see that he commented on that? Did he? I don't remember. I saw an article about that, or it was one or the other. I don't remember if it was all in one or vice versa. But I remember I remember seeing something about the possibility of, you know, of why wouldn't you? Wherever if you were the goes, Colts. Wherever he goes, I think he's gonna be really he'll good. be good for the first year. Yeah, you'll get gonna, that bounce, you'll get that first year thing. Like, yeah. like the Bears got with Khalil Mack. You'll get that first year. Yeah, you know, bang! Here I am. You know, type, right. and then is he oh, gonna no, be? No. Is he gonna go the way of the Michael Vick syndrome? He could. But that I mean, running I mean, is just gonna kill him. It could, and I and I don't know why. But you know, he had to get out of Baltimore. Baltimore really, though. He's got a good arm, man. I know, and he's not. He's a good bad, quarterback. Accurate accuracy either. I just think Baltimore is a bad place to be this whole time. That um, offensive coordinator was horrible when he was with the Bills. He got fired. I know. He still so- sucked ass. Yeah. He's run, 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 run. He's that guy, man. You don't give a shit if you got good wide receivers or not. Run, 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 run. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Make it no, work. So I, I've had it with, you know, I stuck up. I, Lamar Jackson's just, you brought up the point, Robin, about draft day. I forgot all about that. You're right. He has never been able to do this. No. He- to just work within the NFL. Like, I don't know how to put it. Like, just do what you're supposed to do as an NFL player, as a guy who's going to make $100 billion. Right. You got to be worried about it all the time. Yeah, he's not playing along. He's not playing. I don't know. And not for any reason, really. Like, any good reason. I don't see a good reason. I'm not saying he's not smart, but I think he's making a very stupid decision right now. It's kind of like Roquan Smith. I mean, he's got similar. I think. Feels the same. it, It almost feels like he's trying to prove a point now. Like, that he's, you know, uh, yep. above having an agent. Yep. Guaranteed, I agree with you. I got my dogs. Out. I agree with you. Robbie. He's got, he's got all the talent in the world. This guy, I think he could be a real asset to a team if he really put himself into it mentally. 
But what he's doing now is just playing games, I think. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah. And, and Roquan Smith, I take that back. The Bears actually, it was a whole different. He was wacky there, but the Bears actually did him a favor by sending him to Baltimore. Right. Like they actually really, I give the Bears credit. Roquan, they could have really screwed with. Yeah. And they just moved him along. And he made, they paid him an obscenely, an obscene amount of money. And um, good for him. But that's a different story. Lamar's not getting that. That's no. not going to happen for Jackson. Like it what do you think's going to happen, John? I don't know. I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, yeah. I'm, I don't what do you know. Think, I'm, Robin? Who are the teams? It's going to be Indy because they're not going to get their, well, CJ Stroud's probably going to go one. Right. He is sound. going one. I'm pretty sure. Right. From yeah, what I've heard, yeah. Now where's Indy pick fourth? Yeah. Yes. They're four, I think. Yeah. yeah. So I guess they'll have their chance at, if they, if the same thing is with Bryce Young, I don't know if people think he's big enough. Right. That's going to be the I problem. Think it, in, I think Indy's going to draft Anthony Richardson if he's there. Wow, maybe. Yeah. I think they're in love with that dude. Wow. Well, maybe he'll be good. But who am I to shake? I think the guy from Kentucky could be good. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about possibly the Josh Allen type? Yeah. This Will, guy is. Who's big. this now? The kid. Will Levis. Will, Will Levis. Levis. I heard his comparisons to Josh Allen. Okay. He's a big Throwing kid. Balls. He throws. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, and then Richardson's a big kid too. What am I talking about? He's huge. Yeah, he's good. You could compare. What is, it? Is, is, is it his personality? What won? What won all these people over with that? I guy? know the size and the strength and the, all that is probably just. They, you know, said, it's, they said it's going to come right back around after his pro day. They said, watch. It's freakish how big what he is. I mean, yeah. it's, he's got that. All right, we, we call it. We we leave us. We'll say Josh Allen. We could say that too about this guy. Yeah, same size, same brute strength, same arm. Is he a runner that. like that? What's that? Is he a runner like that? You don't think he's a or he likes to hammer people and yeah, shit. Yeah, he's a big kid, so he doesn't really get he doesn't his late yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I yeah. mean he he ran over a guy, he wasn't afraid to the contact, which would could hurt you, you know, eventually True. if you don't. Um thank God Josh Allen has not been hurt for that. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, I I always forgot about Richardson or whatever. That's a good call. Maybe I could see him going for. Yeah. Because I don't think people like Bryce Young. Now Bryce Young, that what that idiot what is wrong with him? He's Why is he size. dropping, man? It's got to be size. It's just his, I think, his height. His, his, and that's the dude who's going to drop, and he's going to come out with a fucking chip this big on his shoulder. He's going to be like, he's yeah. going to burn the fucking league up in the first yeah. year and, he's and gonna be play. the king. And he's going to play for a good team because yeah. he's going to go late, which will be much yeah. better for him. His team's you know. going to be stacked and ready to go with stars. Yeah, he'll play. Yeah. He'll go to, I don't know, he'll end up on uh, Denver or something. I don't know. Somewhere where you got guy, you got people who they're trying to. They keep on trying to trade Judy. Yeah, what is man. Not, why? I don't know, but I think New England would be the perfect spot. Isn't he, I mean, isn't he still under his rookie contract? He would be, I think. I don't know. He's only been in the league, what, three years, I think? That was just his third why? year? It's a real good question. Why? Why are they trying? And Portland, something wrong, dude, if Sean Payton's trying to move him. Yeah, and Sutton. Sutton's another one. You keep both hearing of them? Yeah, I've heard both their names. I've read them. I've, I've read them on certain, yeah, you know, credible things and who are they replacing them with i know it's a good question i don't know there's nobody yeah. out there. you know here's somebody who uh i thought it was i just thought let's talk about this cam newton throwing the ball at auburn I knew um roethlisberger did you see what roethlisberger said did you guys no. see what he said no he seriously considered and was approached and almost did it if it wasn't for i think his wife is what he was trying to say. Going back and playing for the 49ers last year. Because he said he can still play. He admitted that? Yeah. He said he could still play. He said, there's no doubt I can still play. He said, but he couldn't go because of family stuff. He didn't, you know. Right. So he, he thought twice. Steelers fans are going to hate that. That was what he forever. said, though. Now, he did say, I couldn't see myself in anything but black and gold either. Black and yellow. He did say that. It's easy to say now because if your wife was okay with it, you damn sure would have been. So, <laughs> you, dude, you could try to put that shit back in the tube, yeah, but it ain't going to work. All Pennsylvania just said, fuck you, Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, but think about this, though. Now, Cam Newton says, ain't 32 motherfuckers better than me. No, now, it's probably like 45. <laughs> well, let's <laughs> think about the 32 motherfuckers. You would think that who doesn't – uh Carolina needs a quarterback. They're going to draft one, I guess. Indy needs a quarterback. Uh, San Francisco still needs a quarterback in my mind. And I think 
who else needs a quarterback that you can think of right now? Those Atlanta, three, right? Atlanta. Atlanta could use right because Marriott is gone. Right. I. That's dude. Unless he comes back as a backup, he's definitely. Yeah, he, I could see him being a backup. Yeah, he definitely is. There's definitely not 64 motherfuckers better than him. <laughs> right. I could yeah. certainly. I said about 45. Yeah, he said 45. Right. Mm-hmm. I read though that he well, he refuses to come back as a backup. And he's going to refuse to well, play. He's going to be retired then. Yeah. He. Why? What is wrong with these guys? That, it's just got to be just the ego and the insanity because got to be. How? I mean, Roethlisberger. I've heard other people. The 49ers were really reeling. Obviously, they were. Look, I, they keep saying then that he denied it, but I wonder if Philip Rivers wasn't in contact. They didn't contact. Him. I know that's been denied. Roethlisberger said what he said. Um, San Francisco. I almost. I feel bad for the fans a little bit of that team just because. I yeah. mean, they have nothing. There is no quarterback. Brock Purdy. The injuries. What's who are they going to have start a quarterback this year? Right now, nothing. This year, yeah, this year they're in trouble. I mean, they got Bryce to, Young. They got to keep their fingers crossed that uh, Trey Lamar Lance Jackson is going to be okay. Yeah, Trey Lance. I mean, that's an eighteen-month injury, yeah. so we won't know till probably what halfway through the season. Right, right, not, and he wasn't. You, yeah. That mean you haven't even had a chance to start the clock with him. You right. haven't even seen anything yet. He's basically still a rookie. Absolutely. But injured. Hundred percent. Wow, that team's in, that's too bad. They are good. They are good. They're good enough to win, and mm-hmm. they don't have what you need the most, and that's a quarterback. So I I don't know what they're going to do. That's San Francisco. Someone said that, and they might be right, because they he's getting. I wrote this down, and I can't remember where I read this. It was either Sports Illustrated or Pro Football talk whatever someone had said worst free agent signing so far is garoppolo four years 72 mil- three years 72 million his cap hits like 28 million and 16.3 then 28 million and um i don't know why is that so bad yeah i don't know right i don't know why he's the worst dude, if they can keep that guy healthy the dude wins they're gonna be a lot better this year with with him you watch Devontae so. adams is gonna have a great year I think they'll be better if they can keep. Now, I doubt he'll make it. He doesn't make it through seasons. I, I just don't see it. But while he's in there? Yeah, while he's there. Wins. Bring he's in a good. very competent backup quarterback. Or draft one. Yeah. Draft one. You, yeah, they should. Yes, they got to draft yeah. a quarterback. Definitely. There's a lot of middle range quarterbacks in the draft, right? That could serve as good, decent backups. Oh, my God. They're going to, they're, where the Raiders can, the Raiders are drafting at what, like nine? Or no, the Bears are at nine. Who the hell? The Raiders are up there. The Raiders got to be up there. Top fifteen, Seven. maybe. Yeah, so they can draft. They might draft a, uh Bryce Young. Yeah, they could draft, or you know, or or one of those other guys from the guy from Kentucky, the kid from Florida. They got to draft a quarterback. I didn't even think of them. They really do. They're they got they got. Where did Derek Carr end up? Do we know? Did New he New Orleans? Anywhere? He's in New Orleans. New, New Orleans. Orleans. He's their yeah. starter in New Orleans. They need to draft a quarterback. Basically, yeah. I mean, they need something. I mean, we've seen these guys. I mean, what could magically, what magically happens to change for them? I mean, I don't know. <sighs> you know, I like Carr too. I mean, but I do, but man, it... he's becoming. I mean, they end up all becoming uh, Andy Dalton. It feels like because Andy Dalton had his moments. He went in the playoffs. He played well. He's had his time. But he's a good backup. So what? So you telling me that Carr is just a glorified Jake Delhomme? He might be. Yeah. <laughs> actually, Jake Delhomme probably had a better career than Derek yeah, he went Carr. Actually. But think about Andy Dalton. Delhomme went to the Super Bowl. I would love to have Andy Dalton as my backup. I mean, Delhomme went good. to the Super Bowl, didn't he? I think they did. Carolina. Carolina. I think he was. Yes, the he did. Yeah, I think they. I just can't remember who beat them. Why can't I remember? Remember, because I know they went obviously with Newton. Yeah. But they. They didn't win a Super Bowl, Carolina. No, I just don't remember. Oh, no, but if they went, did they? Was it Pittsburgh that beat them? Oh, my dog's gonna rip my screen door. Yeah, down. don't worry. We're gonna be wrapping it up here, so we gotta put some picks in. I can't remember. It don't matter. Yeah, but I do remember Jake Delol, Nick Rupo. They had the freaking running game, and uh, what you call was there, Ron Rivera. Right. River won't run. I'm sorry, and dude. My wife and daughter are at the store, so no, the two don't knuckleheads. We're gonna are, get ready to, and it's warm out, so they want to be outside. I don't blame them. Um. Anything else? DJ Chark, by the way, Carolina is, is trying to get some wide receivers for this new quarterback who's coming in. D- DJ Chark's great. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. Denver beat Carolina 24 10. Thanks, Nate. Oh, okay. Good, good. I, yeah, I remember. I remember the Lone Beaver Super Bowl. Um, so DJ Chark is in Carolina with who else? They brought someone else in. Damn it. Can't remember. I, I got such a bad memory. Carolina's setting up whoever comes in at quarterback pretty good, that, dude. Yeah, that's good for how smart. Yeah, very smart. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. They're doing what the Bears well, the Bears weren't able to oh, do. The it. owner's like, go no. ahead and do what you got to do, boys. I heard, That's awesome. I heard Ezekiel Elliott yep. uh, is looking at the Eagles, Jets, and Bengals. I like him as a backup. He's he fine. Go to the fucking I think Jets. it would be really interesting if he went to the Jets. You know what I would think would be interesting, Robin? If he ended up on the Chicago Bears. How about that? Ooh, <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. mind. I, would I don't need the Jets stacking any more bullshit. How about Austin Eckler? Over. He want, There's a trade yeah. somewhere, I guess, for him. He thinks he's about to get paid, dude. I heard an interview with him, and I got news for – He had – how many touchdowns he scored last year? Oh, my God. And he said, dude, put me on your team, and I will score just as many for you. Like, the dude's like, I will score. He's awfully good. He, he is awfully good. Good. Nobody's going to pay him. No, I know. No one pays running backs. He's great. They don't pay running backs no more. I know. Um, the other one that I like, but not for, and not for like, you're not going to start. I, I like Leonard Fournette on a good team. I think I'm surprised he's not on one yet. He could be dangerous. You put him on a, I don't know. John, he's, he's going to be dangerous if he floats around out there too long. That dude will end up coming in at 500 pounds. I know that too. <laughs> yeah. That's the other you see him when he reported yes. to the port? Oh my, the Tampa Bay. Holy yeah. hell. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> That, no, he has. He, how about Marvin Jones Jr.? Remember him? Yeah. He's not bad. I used to like him. He's yeah. uh, he's out there. It's not a bad third. If you don't want him as your second, you probably want him as your third. Yeah. You know, like your, your, your number three guy, I think. Right. Just guy, I was looking at the names, like some of the trade options. I, I do think Judy to the Patriots would probably, would make so much sense. His connection to the fucking quarterback there. They play I together. I see all that all over Twitter. It would seem to make too much sense, and it probably won't happen. I see prayer circles. <laughs> no, yeah, Chris. Patriot prayer circles for Judy and all kinds of shit. No, I don't know, though. They wouldn't need him. Not with what they got from New England and then who they get. And they still have Maybe Cook, Paris, but they got Cook. Cook. Yeah, that's true. For me, it's James Cook has to be the starting. Yeah. He's got to be. Yes. The, I think he's the guy. They haven't said it yet, but I. it sounds, yeah. They, they don't, we don't have anybody there that's going to challenge him. I think he's awfully. I, I think he's good. I think, I think he's, he's very, be, very good. And I'm curious to see what he's going to be like, you know, being the guy from week one. I hope he's the guy, dude. He and I hope it works it. out. I hope he remains healthy. That's and I hope we end up with something we've never had on the team before since Thurman Thomas, a great and, fucking running back. Fred Jackson was awesome, but no, there was, he was no Thurman Thomas. That's the key. It's still the key in this game. And they don't pay them much, but it's still me. It's still very meaningful. Still need it. Yeah. Why don't we do this? Uh, we got a few selections here, and let's talk about some betting before we uh, before we call it a night on Friday. Here we go. All right. Well. Robin, uh, we are so far since football, we're eleven and six against the spread. Um, Look at us! Not huh? bad. That's nice. Um, what do we want to? Do you got anything you're giving out tonight? I'm going to give everything that I have bet for tonight. Okay, let's give it. Let's one roll. of them is included in the. The dude put out one first thing in the morning. Within ten minutes, not even. They took it. The down. line got changed by two points. And then they took That's it down. That's ridiculous, dude. It got yeah, taken. I know they did. Yeah, yep. I, I was going nuts. That yeah. guy has had that big of an effect on that shit. Did That's you see a how joke, much, dude. You see how, how many followers that? he has? He has 131,000 followers. And everybody's betting on it. So I don't know what he's going to have to change something because I don't know how that's going to keep going on. Like FanDuel's going to fucking, I don't know what, the, Twitter going to get him banned. Shut up. It's possible. Sorry about it. So you ready? Yes, you ready, Rob? Yeah. He yep. gave this. He gave this parlay out, and I bet it. We did too. It is. Clay, this is in the. Uh, remember, I'll explain the categories as I do this. Okay. Clay Thompson, in the points category, you go down to where it says to score ten plus points, twenty plus points, thirty plus points. You would bet Clay Thompson to score twenty plus points. You would then go over. 
bet Draymond Green in the rebounds area over six and a half rebounds. Then you go over to the Phoenix Sun Sacramento Kings game. DeMontis Sabonis over seven and a half assists. Uh, Devin Booker to score 30 plus points. And Kelly Ol Olenek to have over 11 and a half rebounds plus assists. And that, when I bet it, was plus 11.65. What's the matter? Booker over. Booker over 30? What was he over? What was Booker over? Devin Booker to score 30 plus points. 30 plus. 30 plus. And Olenek. You got to go to that 30 plus category. And Olenek is uh, 11? Over 11 and a half. Rebound, the combo area. There's an area where it says combos, and you can bet rebounds and assists or rebounds and points. And yada, yada. It's, it's uh, rebounds and assists. And the play of the day was Austin Reeves over 18 and a half points. Yep. Austin Reeves. Our guy for the Lakers. Yep. I bet them. I, I played those games too. I did that. We did that. I put that in. Did there you put that parlay in already? Yeah, oh. I did. I did earlier. I, I'm doing every. What do you have, Robin? You have something. Yeah, I have a three team uh, March Madness parlay. Um, get it in quick because I think this first game starts soon. Um, Houston minus seven and a half against Miami. <sighs> they fucking burned me first week of the fucking tournament. Sorry. <laughs> Creighton, <laughs> I know it's a lot of points, but I, I love Creighton minus the 10 against Princeton and uh, Xavier plus four against Texas. Can I say something about this? Yes. To the people out there, I like it. Just, it. Maybe you can even use the money line if you want. I know yeah. you like the point, but throw the money line. It's still going to pay you well. Right, right. I'm a little afraid on that 10. The 10 scares me with, with Princeton, but good call, Robin. It's fine. I, I'm scared of Princeton. Yeah. It. They love to go. That's a minus 102 to a minus 500 on the money line. That's a pretty big swing, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> you may not, well, it's not want to bet it at all. Yeah, it's that's that much. Yeah. All right. I got one. It's uh, the Sacramento Kings tonight. They're playing Phoenix. I like the Kings minus 170 on the money line. You could take a minus four, but I, I'd rather take them on the money line. So I like Sacramento tonight. Um, Phoenix is really reeling without Durant and, uh, and DeAndre. Ayton. It's kind of hard for Booker to win by himself. So um, I do like, I kind of like Sacramento tonight. Um, I got a college basketball game I like. Okay. And I'm actually going to bet right now in a minute. As much as it pains me to bet against this team because I bet them a lot. I didn't this year. I did. I bet them once, but they were in a parlay and I lost. But uh, I like you kind of beat Gonzaga tonight. Or tomorrow. 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 Sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm giving it a uh, – yeah. Yep. Minus 137. Nice. All right. Well, that's it. That's all I got. How you got? You good? Yeah. I mean, you know, one thing I've learned since there's DraftKings and all this stuff and FanDuel, it's really kind of nice to – because when you used to have your old bookie, you couldn't use the money line, really, unless it was, you know, hockey. You would do money. You know what I mean? But you didn't do money line in basketball too much. It would always just be the spread. Money lines are nice. It's a good way to, you know – I mean, If the, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, yes. <laughs> right. Don't just willy nilly throw shit down on a money yeah, line because no. you never know, man. You get the information, you might you might catch a nice plus two fifty somewhere and and make our, a good bit of change. Our guy we've been talking about, you know, from Twitter. I was on every. I've done on a lot. I'll tell you, Bradley Beal is killing everyone. That guy. That two part. He <laughs> is, fuck that guy, right? Yeah. Wow. What was he like one for ten or something? Jesus yeah. Christ, he was terrible, dude. And he did it the week before, so I, I think they, they'll never go with him again. John, anyway. There's nothing worse than when you're when you when you got a basketball parlay and it's the last one, and you're waiting, and like your guy needs like one more rebound or one more assist, and he gets fucking yanked in the last five minutes of the game, and you're like, <laughs> oh. "Come on, dude, go back in." <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, tomorrow falls count anywhere at two o'clock. Our guest is um, Jacques Rougeau. Jacques Rougeau from the you know the. Well, is he the Mountie? And he's the... Oh, Rougeau no way. The Rougeau brothers. He'll oh, be with, the Mountie, nice. He'll be with Chris and Scott. Uh, Scott, I said Chris and Charlie tomorrow. So don't forget that awesome. at 2 o'clock. And next week we'll be back, of course, the normal time. Citizens United. But that's for local. Don't worry about them. 
Hey, um, you that's better all. call me as soon as we're off this show. I will. I'll give you a call. All right, let's uh, let's wrap it up. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye, everybody.